Hi folks, it's Simon from Running Physiotherapy, uh, part of Health Fitness Scotland. I got asked today, and I get asked regularly, what's the most common complaint that we treat, or I treat? And it's a really easy question to answer that, it's back sore necks, by, all, by a big margin. Why would that be? Well, your back and your neck are basically the, uh, the connection between the upper body and the lower body. As you can see from this fella here, it is just a series of bones joined together from top to bottom. If you take a plumb line from the top of the skull down through the pelvis there, you can see it's pretty much just a straight line. Everything's in balance, everything's neatly one on top of the other. There is a slight curve in the spine that allows, allows shock absorbency in the body. Why is it that we get back the neck pain all the time? Originally, quadrupeds would be like that. As we evolved in being upright, the strain through the body and the spine is much greater. Gravity is compressing and pushing down. Now between each vertebrae is a small spongy disc that allows that shock absorbency to occur. So as you walk or sit or move, it allows the bones to move, rotate, compress, expand uh, without banging against each other and causing pain. Now during our day-to-day -day lives we get pulled out of position. As we sit, we stand and we move, and we are designed to move an awful lot, we find that everything gets pulled out of place. Now as you sit, everything's nice in alignment, always grand. And if you can maintain that position, then you really shouldn't have too many problems. But especially as nowadays everybody sits in front of computers, we're all sedentary, we're peering at the screen, you're on your phone, what happens? You look down at your phone. I'd like to ask you, how many people do you see walking along the street like this with a phone? And many people walk along the street on their phone, as you know. And people stand, sit with their phone up at eye level, and they don't. They hold it down. They look down at the phone. Now my head's leaning forward, and that's putting pressure on the back of my neck. Now I can't really feel anything at the moment. Why would I hold that for 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes? And it's amazing how time flies when you're on the phone. Then gradually that strain would begin to appear on this part of the neck. The muscles holding the skull onto the spine, the head onto the spine, can only hold it for so long without getting tight. And if you do this in day in, day out, peering at a computer or a laptop, looking at your phone, then that tension builds up and builds up and builds up and builds up. And that's one of the most common complaints I find with neck pain. And especially in the last couple of years when everybody's been at home, less able to go out, a bit more sedentary, and finding that people are getting lots and lots of neck pain. Now that also has a knock-on effect down the back because the average head's about the weight of a bowling ball, as I've said before in previous videos. And this strain just transfers all the way down the back and eventually ends up here in the lumbar spine. As you sit, you're sitting on this part of your, your buttocks here and these vertebrae are being compressed with the entire upper body weight. Now if you sit there for long, long periods of time with bad posture, that compression just goes on to here and the muscles get weak. These muscles are designed to use and are designed, sorry, to be used, and our body are adaptive machines. If you don't use these muscles, they just get weak. If you mobilize a muscle for two weeks, you can lose up to 25% of the muscle bulk. Now the big bum muscles here, the ones that allow us to walk, they're the main connection between the back and the legs, through the pelvis. If you sit on them, they don't work really, and they eventually disappear. So all those folk you see around with a flat backside, they're the ones that have been sitting too much, or have had bad posture. So, you we need to move. We need to not sit for too long. We need to lift our phone up in front of our face if we're using it, because we know we're going to use it whether we like it or not. It's near impossible to be without a phone these days. And much as I like to say don't use it, I know it's inevitable, so all we can change is how we use it. So lift your phone up, hold it in front of you. Don't use it for too long. Don't sit for too long, and if you do sit, become conscious of your posture. And there's one little trick that works really, really well. Sticky coloured dots. I give them out to lots and lots of patients and clients. Basically what you do is you stick them everywhere. Everywhere that you'll see when you're sitting or you're moving around during life. Light switches, bathroom mirror, dashboard of your car, the corner of your phone, your laptop, your desk, etc, etc, etc. Every time you see one, it's a visual reminder to sit up straight, to improve your posture, to put things in alignment, to be in a position that's going to keep be the least strain for your spine and your posture. And if you can keep reminding yourself of that, that neural connection, be conscious of your posture and aware and become stronger. 
you'll think about it more often and the new habit, the new posture will be correct. When you're sitting, you'll be more conscious. You'll feel where you are in the chair. Be more aware of where your body is in, in life. And that will allow you to improve your posture and put less strain through the spine. So why do I see more mostly backs and necks? Because of lack of awareness of what happens here. So be aware. Improve your posture. Use the dots and move your body. That's the secret. Thank you. I'll see you next time.